Meanwhile, migrants from Nigeria to other African countries are also not having it easy, as 41 victims of human trafficking have been evacuated from Mali. They arrived at the Muritala Mohammed International Airport aboard a military transport aircraft at about 7.25 p.m. today. Their return was facilitated by the Nigerian Air Force, the Office of Diaspora and Foreign Affairs, and NAPTIP. The Special Assistant to the President on Diaspora and Foreign Affairs, Mrs. Abike Dabiri Iriwa, said six members of a trafficking ring have been arrested. There has to be rehabilitation, reorientation, counseling. They are, tra they, are, they are traumatized. You can see that they are traumatized young girls and they have stories of woes to tell. Six suspects have been arrested. We're glad about them. And we have to continue to um, discourage this issue of trafficking. Now, these girls were ignorant. What they expected was not what they got. And parents should continue to watch their words. And when you say poverty, I think it's much more than poverty. I mean, what's the point? They've lost... We don't even want them to lose their dignity. And like I told them, they are not criminals. They went in search of a better life, which didn't turn out to be the kind of life they would have wanted. And they are back voluntarily. At least most of them said they want to come back home. So, again, we have to work with NGOs, caregivers, rehabilitation, reorientation. And they keep telling parents that don't, some of them push their children into this kind of lifestyle. And then the more you get the suspect, the madams, so to speak, I mean, it's going to help, help a lot in dissuading human trafficking. So this is particularly um, touching because they're all girls, 41, whose lives would have been ruined, but thank God they're back. And the work begins now with these girls.